first of all there's moves like c5 which would be bad because of d5 this has been uh, emphasized some places as a good way of playing for black but I don't believe it the general move is d5 white wants to play f uh, play e4 and black should not allow it so d5 and here white's move is a3 so after bishop takes on c3 bishop e7 is possible it's been played a lot of times again I don't recommend it this is solid it's good and it's not boring and certainly there's still chances to win for black after take take uh, on c3 we have a position which could have arisen from uh, the previous chapter on the same variation here again there's a, a little trick you should know that castling here is bad because after c takes knight takes then e4 is very strong for white now uh, black was looking for a transposition to the position we're, we're getting into but he won't get it therefore the right move in this position is c5 and when white takes on d5 and black takes with the knight white cannot play e4 because after knight takes c3 he will be ready to defend the knight with uh, c takes d4 we can have a look again here on this variation and say well can't he take with the queen but uh, we'll just show briefly that it does not work here variations like this um, this has been played sometimes it's just very very dangerous for black um, I think this is the move knight e2 and then uh, black has to play knight d5 and uh, he's still walking on a on a very very um, thin thread and his queen is about to be trapped with bishop c1 so basically this is something which should be avoided therefore in this position it's important to remember c5 and white usually takes on d5 there's no other really sensible moves for him black takes back we have all these arrows which we'll get rid of and this is the main position and here the main move is take on c5 